Welcome back boys and girls. Uh, we hope you're enjoying the videos. We have another one for you here today. We're gonna talk about some different toss and catch activities that you can do. Most of these will work better outside, but you could perform many of them inside the house if the weather is not cooperating for you today. Uh, we have all the things that you need on a piece of paper, as you can see here. Uh, and so you're gonna be able to have that. But also if you click on the soccer ball, it will bring you to all of these in a nice color copy on your computer. You can print them out if you need or want, but you do not have to. Uh, Mrs. Brown is gonna bring you around to see what those would look like. Uh, we have some of those on the table, but if you click on it, you will also see what it looks like on your Chromebooks. So feel free to go ahead and click on the soccer ball to see what you're going to need. Some of the things that you might want, a rolled up sock, a ball that bounces, because some of these activities will require you to have that. Uh, you can also go ahead and grab a grocery bag. Some of these are kind of a scarf activity. And if you don't have a scarf, you can use a grocery bag to throw up and do some of those. So what I'd like you to do is, is, is get your, your implement, again, whether it's a sock, a, a ball of some type or a bag, and then go ahead and look at some of those cards and try to perform as many as you can do that you either A, have the equipment for, or also that you're just trying to challenge yourself with different activities. Uh, simple ones might be simply toss, touch the ground, and catch. Toss, touch the ground, and catch. Some of the earlier ones that you're gonna see are just simple back and forth from hand to hand, catching with one hand, working on non-dominant hand. Mr. Elliott is right-handed, so maybe you're tossing and catching with your non-dominant hand, but just do some of these different activities. One of them is toss, turn around, spot it, and catch. Make you a little bit dizzy, but work on that. Someone might start off with it between your feet. This one's a little bit difficult. You're gonna try and jump and throw it up in the air and catch. Oh, I missed it. That's fine. Go ahead and get it, practice. Do it again, no one's gonna be perfect to any of these. Uh, you might start by kicking it up from your foot, one of them says. You have to balance it on your foot, try and kick it up and catch it there. You might toss and catch behind your back or start by throwing it from behind your back and catch it back in front. Those are all different ones that you're going to see on there. You might catch it underneath your leg. Oh, messed up, throw it up, catch it underneath your leg or start by throwing from underneath your leg and catch. So you're gonna see all of those that you can do individually. There are 40 cards all together though, and there might be some that you can work with a partner. If you have a brother or a sister, a mom or dad that wanna do this with you as well, you can invite them in. Mr. Kearns is over here, he's gonna join me. Some of them are individual, you're just tossing the ball back and forth, working on toss and catch. Watch that ball all the way into your hands. Make a nice good catch. Try to get it as close to your partner's chest as possible, making it easy for them to catch. That way they can watch it, they can catch it. You can catch with two hands, like Mr. Kearns just showed you, or you can catch with one hand. If you start getting pretty comfortable, maybe you can find a second ball. Hopefully you can find two that are fairly similar in size or roll the socks so they're similar in size, and then work with your partner, toss and catch. Toss and catch. And just do a variety of different things. But again, there are 40 of them all together. Some of them are individual, some of them you are tossing towards a object. One of them was to try and catch it on your back. That was pretty challenging. We were doing that together, just having some fun. So soft touch and try to catch it on your back. We are only able to do it once. I've tried it six or seven times, only completed it once, but that's gonna be one that I would like to try and do because it's more challenging. If you cannot get outside because it's raining, feel free to do some of these. You might have to modify them by getting a little lower because your ceiling height might cause you some issues. Touching the ground and throwing it up could be difficult if you only have an eight foot ceiling. Outside, you have a chance to throw it much higher, giving you a better chance to touch the ground. So take a look at those, get outside, get away from that computer for a little bit when you're on your brain breaks. This will get you revved back up a little bit and spend some time getting some good exercise. We'll look forward to seeing you soon. Stay safe, stay healthy, and get some exercise. Have a great day.